everybody Ann here and I'm sitting out on my porch as usual drinking my coffee with all of you about ready to get started on my day but before I do guess what I got something in the mail so I'm gonna open it it's from Walmart so I think I know who this is from and I think I know what it is let me see what it says pull to open pull what to open pull this oh yeah right okay let me open this here we go. And yep, this is this is what I was told I was getting. Check this out. Oh, it's going to be all. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let me open this and then get it out for you and show it to you, okay? All right, here it is. It is a very soft, I guess you would call it a jacket. This can also replace the pink hoodie because the pink hoodie is toast, as we said. Here, let me just put this on so you can see what it looks like. See? Oh, this is so cozy. It's so soft and it's warm, but it's not too heavy. It's going to be perfect for me coming out here and sitting on the porch in the morning time when it's cold outside. So, ah, oh, I love it. It is so cozy. And thank you, person who wants to remain anonymous. I love it. It fits me perfect. Bobblehead's not the only one who has butterflies. I've got them too. Look at this beautiful one sunning itself out in front of my tiny house. Just gorgeous. Y'all know what time it is? Yes, I have worms. It is worm bin time. My worm bin is sitting right here, right next to me. And this beautiful shirt I got from AJ at AJ's Green Topics. I can't show it to you right now on the back, but it has his logo on the back. So now what we're going to do, we're going to dig in my worm bin. I know this probably doesn't seem interesting to a lot of you, but I think that they are an essential part of having a homestead. So let's take a look, and I'm going to feed them. I'm going to feed them something gross. But AJ said that they eat this, so I'm going to see if they actually end up eating it. First, let's just take a look at my worm bin. This is the same kind of design that AJ uses, and I've used it before. When I first started, I had a smaller bin that was sat down inside of another bin and I had holes in the bottom hoping to capture some of that worm tea that they everybody talks about. Well, I never got anything coming out the bottom, so I've just stuck with this very simple basic build and it's just a tub with a bunch of holes on top. And then on the inside, of course, is the bedding and all my worms. Now, I initially started out with um, this bedding that I got from Walmart and it's basically something that you can just make yourself which is shredded paper, cardboard, um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, you know egg cartons, the cardboard kinds and uh, so I've been adding that little by little and right now I want to show you something I hope you can see it but I'm looking at a cocoon right now so let's see if I can get out of the sun and show it to you. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. Here, let me just, I usually do this with gloves on, but let's see. Can you see that? That little orange thing? Oh, there's actually two right next to each other. It's hard for me to see if this is filming right, but those little round things, those are cocoons, and I have a feeling I have a gazillion down in there. So, I'm going to put my other glove on, like this, see my new gloves, and I'm just going to dig around in this worm bin and see what we can find, and then I'm going to feed them. I have a lot of new worms in here, and they are just slowly digesting all of this cardboard and whatnot, and... I don't know how many worms I've got, but oh, another cocoon right in there. I'm not going to show you every single cocoon, but um, so this worm bin is finally starting to take off. I've got plenty of lively worms. That, this is probably one of the originals. Um, let's see if I've got any other earthworms in here. Oh, look at all of those worms. I don't know. That might be a baby earthworm. It might be one of the red wigglers. But all kinds of worms in here, which makes me happy because the red wigglers, oh, another cocoon. Ooh, and more worms. All kinds of worms. Look, 
Oh, I think there's two that are coupling. I'm just going to gently put them down and let them do their thing. Oh, my goodness. Yes, this worm bin is really starting to take off. Cocoons everywhere. Just, at, oh, look it, look it. We've got somebody trying to escape. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Um, and they're finally starting to get up and move around a little bit more. Because um, I recently just put them in this bin. Oops, this is moving around. So this is what it starts looking at like. And look it. And there doesn't seem to be any pests in here. Everything just looks really, really healthy. But I think that maybe I only have that one big night crawler. Oh, there's two more cocoons down there, one there, one there. They're just breeding like crazy. So what I had been doing is not feeding them for a while. And AJ says that if you feed them, if you stop feeding them, they'll go into like a survival mode, I guess, and they'll start breeding more. And apparently that works. But this is, this is all just looking really, really good. Is this still the same, same earthworm? Gosh, that would be good, a good one to go fishing with. Oh, nope, I've actually got two earthworms. So good. There were about six when I initially started this, but I think I lost a few of them. That might be an earthworm. All I know is I'm most attached to the, oh God, more, more cocoons everywhere. Oh, look, everywhere. The, oh, look at this one, looks a little pale. Hmm, <laughs> what does that mean, AJ? Um, I like the red wigglers better because they're better composters and they're, they're great for fishing too. So this, oh yeah, look at this one. I think that's an earthworm cocoon, that big one there. Okay, it's really hard for me to tell if this is in focus. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of put this down here. I'm going to go get that gross hair, and I'm going to put it on one side, and we're going to see if these worms eat it. Look at this. Isn't that gross? I've been saving up my hair for a long time. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it down in here, and you know what? I might go ahead and just cover it up a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to come back. Oh, there's so many cocoons in here. And then I'll come back, you know, in a few days and check on it and see if they've eaten any of it. So I don't know. I don't know if they're going to eat this at all, but it's going to be interesting if they do. Because if they do, that is a bonus because my hair is totally falling out all over the place. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put the lid back on and put it back in the shed. And this is where I'm going to leave it, just on this old desk right in here. And since I put the food on this side... I'm going to go ahead and put this little jug over here just to remind me that the food is over here, so I need to look over there. Okay, now, what do I need to do? See that box down there? That's got my big sink in it. I am going to put that together, and I am going to put all of my linens, my quilts and everything in it, and just wash them up. It's all put together. It was really easy, basically. You just put the legs on, you attach the little stabilizer things, and a screw in a bolt and whatnot. Um, it's got a stopper that comes with it, so, and there's a little thingy, a little gasket thingy on the bottom there, too. So, I'm going to go get my linens, and I'm going to see if I can get them cleaned. Um, little, uh, two little holes for spouts or whatever, if you want them. I won't be getting them. Also, down in the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but there are little holes in each one of those legs. So, what I'm going to do is get some steaks. I have some leftover steaks. And I'm going to pound them into the ground so this thing will be even a little bit sturdier. That's all I'm going to do for now. That's plenty. It is n very dirty. It's a mess. I'm going to pour some laundry detergent on it. And then I'm going to go get some water. That's probably more detergent than I need. Oh well. It is filled up as much as I, I need it to be with water. It's already starting to get it clean. And there is no leaking at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do for about 15 minutes, well, for about just a couple minutes right now, is do my little plunger thingy and uh, just let it soak for a while and then come back, plunge it a little bit more, wring it around with my hands, make sure everything's getting clean, then drain it out. I've got my bucket there and I could actually just let it drain to the ground, but I'm going to drain it in the bucket and maybe, I don't think I can water my plants with this because... 
it is, I don't think it's environmentally safe. I mean, it's just your average detergent, so I'll have to, to figure out what I'm going to do with the water. So, yay, I get to wash my linens. And in the meantime, I bought another linen set to switch out so that I can have something on my bed while my other linen is getting clean. So let me go get that on the bed and show you what it looks like. And there's my new bedding. I love it. I love the red. I love the green too, but it's going to be nice to be able to switch them back and forth. And that little pillow there, I made it with my oldest granddaughter, Annabelle, Ariana. So if she's watching, I kept it, girlfriend. I still have it. I've still got two uh, feather pillows that I use to actually sleep on that I need the pillowcases that I'm washing right now. But it's going to feel so nice to be able to get into that bed on nice clean linens and then I'm going to have a backup set that's going to be nice. So this is awesome. So what I did do too, I bought, even though this set came with, um, you know, fitted sheet, flat sheet, um, I have enough um, flat sheets. So I wanted an extra fitted sheet. So I've got three now, three flat sheets. And then what I did with the uh, flat sheet, the extra, I cut it into quarters and that made it perfect dimensions to make my new little curtains basically I just nailed them up there and that's how I do it just roll them up and then tie them up same with over here this one over here I just hold it on with magnets and then tie it off to the side and then same with this one over here just very basic because I wanted it to be easy to take down when I start putting up the walls and that's going to come next. And that down there is a black bucket. It's got a white lid on it, so that's why I covered it with a black garbage bag. But I'm sitting it out in the sun just to see if it will heat the water up so I can have a nice hot shower, maybe. I don't know if it'll work. I'll let you know in the next video. And look at the girlfriend. Just look at her. She's over there relaxing. She loves laying in the dirt. <laughs> So for the rest of the day, I'm going to go finish that laundry up and get it hung, hung up. So hopefully it'll dry. It's going to take forever because that quilt is a heavy, heavy quilt. And I've taken off my pretty pink shirt and put on a work shirt so that I can go around and do some stuff. I've got to water the plants. i got to go check the beds down there and probably cook something on the rocket stove. Then hopefully have a warm shower tonight and crawl into my nice, crisp, brand new bedding. Anyway, that's all i got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.